What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Jumaya's World and right now we're going to be talking about what you should be doing right now in Madden 24 Ultimate Team. If you just bought the game, this is something that you should be doing. It's November 20th, right before Black Friday. This is going to be a video that you're going to definitely need. It's going to give you the tools and the guidelines to make sure you're up to date. If you are a veteran, if you missed out on some of these things, definitely go ahead and catch up so that way you know where you are leading into the rest of the harvest and also zero chill. Now, the number one thing that you guys have to understand, if you have not played Madden at all this year, you need to go into your challenges and get take advantage of all the free cards and the content that's available. You can just go through all of them and, you know, just a rule of thumb, the Snickers players are garbage. So, you know, I don't know how desperate you guys are. I know this even applies to some of my veterans because we go after all of the free content. These players are absolutely garbage. Another year of pure trash. Okay, so those are not the ones that I would actually look at. Um, the Division Dynasty actually gives you a Team Builder Fantasy Pack. They give you an 88 overall B&D. Just a quick point of order, those 88 overall B&Ds are garbage. The first 88 B&D that we've been using that actually starts for us is Trent Brown, and he's one of the guys that's Harvest. And realistically speaking, with the way that this works, even if you did every single challenge, um, you can't get another Turducken leg until the next part of the actual promo. So this is the most recent one that you probably should be attacking to go ahead and make sure that you're able to get some of the players upgraded because the 88 overalls can be updated or upgraded to 91. Okay, so that's very, very important. Everything else, including the All Madden and the AKA and the Team of the Week and the Legends, you should pretty much already be done with those unless I said, of course, that you just got the game. Otherwise, you already have a free possible legend waiting for you. And your legend is gonna be a 92 overall instead of what we were able to get because EA Sports is actually updating the legends. All right, you can see that I'm a little bit off with the last three weeks because I got my first free legend. You're gonna be able to get two. Okay, bro? This is definitely going to be a, a situation where um, I'm going to be updating you guys with everything that we have going on going forward. But this is one of the more important things that you have to do. Now, the team of the week, I think I'm also a couple weeks behind on that. Yeah, like four weeks. Make sure you're doing this as well, because before you know it, it's going to be January and then it's going to be team of the year. Then it's going to be free cards and you're not going to be able to take advantage of those things. OK, because like I said, already I got like 50 messages that some of the AKA challenges are not working. All right. This is a problem because they do it every year. If you wait until the end, you will not be able to get all of them done because they're going to be glitched out. So you have to do them as they come through. Obviously, if you're just getting the game later, you did not have the ability to get these done. But I give you guys all the feedback that I've received over years in one. So that way you don't have to be raging and trying to figure out how to get in contact with EA. It's something, I don't know if they do it intentionally, but if you try to get all of these done, some of them are gonna be bugged out and you're gonna be missing things, okay? So this is something that you really, really need to understand about you know everything going on within the game itself. And you know just do, do the best that you can to be able to be up to date for the free content that's available. The Hispanic Heritage Month, these cards are also garbage, but I did it anyway because, you know, it was worth it to get some of the cards at the time. I don't know if these cards are gonna be able to, you know, help you out at this point. Probably would avoid that. So right now you're looking at Harvest, All Madden, Division Dynasty, AKA Team of the Week, Legends. That's your primary focus, all right? Everything else that's going on that's what's uh, inside the store, we're gonna go over that as well because before we get to the actual mutt level advances and everything like that, it's very important that you guys understand. The primary packs, if you're going to spend money, is anything that has to do with weekly platinum packs, okay? Or if they have the, the you know, whatever the pack is for that weekend, which is Legends, or if they're giving you like an AKA pack, which the $20 packs or the $30 packs, they actually give you AKA tokens. If you do not have enough tokens for the AKA, I don't know what to tell you. EA may drop another bonus solo or something like that for you to be able to do it, but it should mathematically work out that everyone was able to get 30, okay, um, through the challenges that are available right now. If, Like I said, if you cannot, you can always contact help.ea.com. Pretty sure in certain cases they'll grant you certain tokens, but otherwise EA Sports will just release another challenge and make you be able to get those free cards because that's part of the grind. They have been good in that regard. All right, where they've allowed us to be able to redeem free content when they've made a mistake. So I wouldn't really go too crazy about that. 
everything else that's going on, right? The beginner offers, I wanna make sure you guys understand, right? These things right here, when you read them, anything that says B&D, do not buy it. Especially right now where everything is like really cheap, you can literally go buy another bundle that, it, you know, obviously everything is, you know, auctionable and be able to make a lot more than using this. At the beginning of the year, sometimes a BND card here and there can help you. Right now with the way the market is, everything is pretty much cheap. So you would be better off doing anything else other than a BND. Do not spend money on BND purchases. All it will do is fill up your binder and have no other use. You cannot use them in sets and you can't do anything, you can't sell them. So anything that says BND, avoid it. It's disgusting for the game and it should be removed. All right, so the beginner offers, this is primarily for uh, the newcomers. Um, the weekly plat uh, platinum packs is a great way to get coins. Um, for, m for my veterans, we know the pro, pro playmaker pack usually are decent to a point, but you can see that the odds are very, very disgusting. So again, I don't want you guys to feel as if these are some of the better packs, but if you're looking to you know, start to plan for Team Diamonds, or you're looking to go ahead and get some of the lower level cards to make some of the cards that you, you know that are available that go into sets now, that pack can be useful. This one is gonna be very useful once they drop Team Diamonds because you'll see that inside of the pack, they're not even giving you anything good. So the lower overalls are what we're gonna be looking for to like build up the Team Diamonds. So that'll actually be one of the better packs, all right? The select offers, all right? You'll find a lot of what is actively going on in the game in here. You'll also find the strategy items, which is a great coin making method, which I just released recently. That'll definitely help you. Um, eventually that'll go up in price because they're gonna drop the epics and stuff like that soon. But it is a great coin making method to roll some of those, sell them and see what's going on in that regard. Um, it definitely could help you guys out a lot, but you'll find like the legend packs, the AKA packs and stuff like that for coins here as well. If you don't want to spend money and you've been grinding the game and you just want to find different ways to get coins, you're going to have to invest the coins that you make into packs like that. And you're going to have to get lucky. That's pretty much the only way it is, bro. Because the packs this year have been really, really bad, which is why they took away from the field pass the opportunity to get just like a free 91 or whatever, 92 legend, because they're giving away too much stuff. So EA is like, you know what? We're done with that. Finally, when you go to the end, right, they give you a whole nother way to get, you know, free, you know, not free content, but unlockable content that is specific to season three. Now, this one is probably a decent one, okay? When you look at what you're getting, it tells you, you know, you get two of the 85s, you get a choice of two of five 89s. You know, it's it's good to be able to get these players to build up the sets to make the champions. So that's actually a pack. I would say if you're coming in and you're like, yo, gee, should I do it? I would say absolutely yes. As the other ones unlock, we will go back to it, but just looking at it, anything that says platinum, you're gonna wanna go ahead and get it because it's a chance that you're gonna make a lot of coins out of it. This one is also not bad for 500 uh, points as well. Because anything with platinum, that could be all elites. And I, I did a lot of pack openings early on with those goals and they work out. So that's primarily there. Everything else as, as far as the live events and grinding the game can be found in my how to level up really, really quickly videos because I go over it in everything that you're supposed to do. So check out the playlist for Mutt24 and you'll be able to find out everything that's actually going on within the game itself. And that's gonna help you learn more about upgrading your team, your team captains, and all those things. All right, so go ahead, like, share, subscribe. If you wanna become a member, it's not a better time to do it than right now. We're gonna be doing live eBooks that'll only be viewable afterwards to members. So hopefully you guys are enjoying your day. Stay well, stay blessed. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.